since play release is right around the corner um, for OP and D, I'm going to give you guys a good guide, just a rundown of everything in the game, so you guys aren't lost once you get in the game. And basically, I'm going to start with EXP first. So basically, once you buy the game, you know, spawn in, it gives you an option to choose your male or female. You spawn in, right? And you can either fight bandits or you can grip for um to get EXP. So it's not the game's not a full on bandit beaters. You have like two paths you can go to gain EXP. First, there's NPCs events. Once you kill these NPC events, you get EXP in this bar. If this bar fills up, you get a level. And that level gives you three SP for your stat points. After every NPC event you um beat, you get a chest. You can turn this into a chest appraiser or get buy chest keys with your um to what do you call it unlock a chest. Buying chest keys and unlocking a chest gives you more belly than you know turning into a chest appraiser. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So every time you level up, you get three SP. To put these SP into your arm or leg or agility or vitality, you need certain trainings. Arm trainings you get for arm strength, you will get arm trainings. For leg strength, you get arm. You get leg strength, I mean, and you know, so on, so on. You get agility, trainings for agility, and vitality for vitality. So after you buy these trainings, um, you click these trainings until they disappear, and they will add a skill point into your, into your like whatever chosen one you choose. So say if I have vitality, right, and I click this until it disappeared, I will get 20. It would add an SP to my vitality, which would make it 21 of vitality. And another way to level up easy in this game is to do bosses. Bosses in the game, they give hockey XP and um, they give hockey XP in a lot of levels. You can get, if you actually try in this game, you can get max in a day. Not like, not even joking, you get max. Because there's no ranked CD in this game. Uh, and that's pretty much all for XP, you gotta know. Anything else? No, not really. Um, like I mentioned belly, you get belly from chest to get your moves and everything. Um, yeah, just turn the chest into a chest appraiser and you should be good to go. Now that we're moving on the styles, I'm going to give you guys each uh, a rundown of each style in game and what they do and like what they scale off of. So first we're going to start with black leg, as you see I have here, black leg. It scales off a of leg strength and it's a pretty good style, it has good range, good um, damage output. Every style in this game I mean. It's pretty good. Like there's no um OP style, I should say, or under underwhelming style. Everything is around right now, everything's balanced as I like make this video. So, you know, in the future, don't get on me. But, um yeah, overall black leg is good and yeah, after all after I talk about all the styles, I'll give um locations of all the styles after this and you know where to go for it. Next we're gonna talk about fishman. Obviously you have to be a fishman to attain this style. Um Fishman does scale off of arm strength. Overall, Fishman is a pretty, it's a pretty good, what do you call it? It's a pretty good style. Um, Fishman's, like, basically, they're they're invincible in water. Um, they're, like, their oxygen bar does not go down, and they have the dive mechanic off bat. Basically, um, you can dive in this game, but if you're under 50% as a Fishman, you, like, you can't dive at all. Just know to balance out diving, and you can't dive with people on your back if you're a Fishman. Oh, at all. If you, you can't dive at all on someone's your back. And that's pretty much all for Fishman. It's a over Overall, it's a good style. It has good um, range moves. You know, it can combo. Every every style in this game has a combo extender. Except for Black Leg, you have to do like uh, a tech with it. It's, it's it's a good it's a good style. So next, we're going to talk about one assess. There's nothing really special to talk about one assess. You know, it's a sword style, so it's going to scale for uh, arm strength. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really special to talk about it. Um, it's just a regular sword style. Just like two SS and yeah, I'll talk about three SS in a bit, but yeah. There's nothing really special. It just scales off it scales off of arm strength. Um you have you have four moves like every other style and yeah, it's pretty good. Now on the two SS, um basically um it's same it's not the same thing as one SS, but you know, there's nothing special. It's another it's another sword style in this game. You have two swords, you go to um you press tab to equip your like to equip your weapons in this game, you press tab, you scroll scroll and press weapons and it will give you say if you have a cutlass like you equip the cutlass first and then bring out another cutlass and you, you equip it again and it will give you two swords like I have two shin guards on right now it, yeah it gives me two of those and then to take them off press X and you can go into your inventory and just drop it or you know, pick right back up E there's you press E to drop a weapon by the way press E but yeah, oh yeah, back to assess. Um, it scales the arm strength. I'm just gonna say it again, but you know, obviously, three assess. Um, 
it's basically an add-on to like one assist and two assists. So basically, let me give you an example. If I want one assist, I still have a chance to go three assists. Basically, what I'm saying, you need a record assist. You need enough um, style XP, which is right here. You get style XP from you know hidden PCs, hidden players. It gives you style XP basically. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this early on, but you need style XP for your moves. So basically, say if I wanted my um, one assist skill, there's a right to it. I need a good like what. Uh, I'm just this is an example. I, I just need 10k uh, XP for that skill, and it goes up. Um, call it. It goes up. Um, like style XP every time for like higher tier skills, and you don't need to get um every skill in order. You can switch up your skills, and yeah, you don't have to get every skill in order. You don't have to buy um every skill for you know for you to get the next. Basically, uh, so yeah, back to three assess. Um, what's special about three assess? You can use one assess skills, two assess skills, and still use three assess skills. So basically, if I was one assess and I had two one assess skills, I could still go to three assess and use the three assess skills too. So basically, how do um, we call it? Um, how you get three assess? There's a star um XP requirement. I don't have that right now. I don't know it. Basically, um, if I had one assess, I would go to um three assess island. Which I'll tell you guys later in the video. You talk to the person and um, you ask it. I, I don't know if it's a question or not because I never had three assess, but you talk to him and he'll give you three assess. So basically, I could have one assess and three assess moves at the same time. And mention like once you go three assess, it debuffs your other um, source of moves. So basically, if I had Lion Flash from um from one assess, but and I went three assess, it would debuff um. Lion Flash because I went through this. It's a 25% debuff on other um stop sword style moves. Basically, um, but three assess is good because you get a damage buff from going from it, and you could use um other moves from other sword styles. But three assess, in my opinion, three assess is the best out of the three, and that's all for three assess really. And also, it scales off arm strength, obviously. And yeah, that's all. Next, we're gonna talk about Roku. The thing about Roku is you have to be in Marines to get um Roku. The trainer will not teach you um Roku unless you're in Marines. You can leave Marines after if you get Roku, and then you'll still be able to have it. Right? No debuff or nothing, but you will be able to have um what do you call it? You will probably have um Roku. The thing about Roku, it only has three moves because the fourth move is CP9, CP9 locked, and that is in Marines. So if you want a fourth move, you have to be in Marines for um for you to have the fourth move. The fourth move is Kami E for Roku, but it's not to the public, it's only for CP9, and that's, and that's Marines. And also, it scales off of arm strength, but the last um N1 on Roku scales off of leg strength too. So that's a um, like that's the thing you have to mix up your stats about it. It's basically, um, my friend, M1, 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 the last, last kick will scale off of leg strength for Roku. So if you want your last, um, you know, last and one to do what you call it oh no 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 no! i messed up i messed up i messed up um if you want your lad it's your m2 that scales off a rope that scales off a leg m2 m2 if you if you want your m2 to do damage like you know still do damage put leg strength into um and put points into leg strength my fault into leg strength for your m2 to scale and that's basically it for a roku you have to be in marines again you have to be in marines to get, learn this you can leave after we still want the style, but yeah, that's all. Next is boxing. Um, there's nothing really not much wrong with boxing. You know, everyone knows boxing. It's a fist style. It has the fastest M1 in the game, so that's that's something special about it. It's fast, fast M1 in the game, which makes it pretty good. Um, I don't know about the range. I think it has like the range for fast wounds, which is fair in my opinion. But yeah, um, nothing really special. You know. Yeah, it's just uh, in melee style with moves like every other melee style, but yeah, that's the move. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Next is Ryu Soken. Um, it's basically same thing, not same thing as boxing, but you know, it's a, it's a fist style. Um, I forgot to mention, boxing obviously scales off arm strength. You know, that should be obvious. And Ryu Soken obviously scales off um, arm strength, but yeah. Um, nothing, you know, it's just like, it has good damage, Reese Oak puts out good damage with good range, um, yeah, there's nothing really special about it, just another fist style, and yeah, that's pretty much all. 
Phoenix, we have Axe. Axe is, um, Axe, it puts out good damage, but it's slow, you know. It has a lot of good damage and has good stun, but this Axe is slow, so it should be easy for people to dodge. But it does put out good stun and damage. That's one good thing about Axe. Axe is, um, it's not bad, so, you know, but if you don't like slow, um, slow weapons, I wouldn't recommend going Axe if you know, if you want to have, like, a, a fast-paced game. Know, better M1s, I would re recommend go boxing or you know, one of the fist styles that have faster M1s to it. And yeah, but Axe um, has good range, very good range, um, slow M1s, but it has very good stun. And yeah, that's um, basically all about Axe. And all the scales are off arm strength. Alright, next we have um, the, gun, the gun style. Um, this style, it scales up for arm right now, but I don't know, I was talking to Sabon earlier, I don't, he said he was going to add a, um, a stat called gun, I don't know if that was a troll or not, but I don't, it didn't sound like a troll, but if a stat called gun is, um, added, I'm, I'm assuming it would, um, scale off a gun by the time that, that's added, just assuming, um, I don't know if that's going to be, it, but, yeah, um, actually, um, gun, for right now, scales up, scales up um, as I said, and it's just a um, it's a gun style, you know, bullets and everything. The M2 for gun, it's a long range, um, it's a long range, it's a long range shot. It, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for gun. That's all you really need to know about styles. And yeah, wrap it up there. All right, next I'm gonna tell you all the locations. Um. Actually, I'm just gonna put a um, screenshot of the map and the locations on it. Um, yeah, I'm just y'all can pause the video here if you wanna find your style and the, the map location it's on. All right, next we're gonna go over races. Um, like I said earlier, we're gonna go over Fishman first. Like I said earlier, um, Fishman gets its own style. It gets his water buffs. You know, basically you have an infinite oxygen bar. You can dive. Um, but you do get a, like a you get a um a slow debuff on land. So you know. Don't go try a boss with no land as a fisherman, because it won't end well, I ain't gonna lie. Unless you have good HP and everything. Alright, next race we're gonna talk about is Mink. Um, Mink um, basically has, it has a bunch of, um, a bunch of, um, what should I say? It has a bunch of um, variants to it. Yeah, variants. I don't, I don't know, I'm not gonna name all of them, because I don't think I only know about like two or three of them. I know Bull, um, Monkey, and Cat. I don't know if those are all of them, but yeah. But each of those variants have different buffs to them, and yeah, and for Mink, there's two different um, variants of, like, stun or damage. So basically, if you have Mink, um, you get the person, you can get a stun variant, which stuns them if the, uh, if the effect applies, and, like, stuns them for, like, a tiny bit. And for the damage variant, all you get is, you know, extra damage with Mink variant. And, but, you know, Mink has their own, um, style. Not style, has her own skills, I should say. Like, you don't get a, um, a style like Fishman, but it has her own skills. And, yeah, it's pretty much all the Mink. Um, to roll for Mink or Fishman and Skypean, I'll talk about right after. You just come up um, to shop, and you do Race Roll right here. Race Roll does wipe you, by the way, so don't don't progress, then Race Roll. It wipes. Just warning right here, it wipes. Okay. And, yeah, it's pretty much all. Next, we're gonna talk about Sky Pian. Um, Sky Pian, basically, they um they start off with a Sky Pass. A Sky Pass, is what you need to get up to Sky Pia, which is um I'm up right here on Sky Pia. I have it right here. We'll press it, and then it's up here. It takes you to Sky Pia. Just let it load real quick and show you. And then it will TP to here. Basically, if you're anywhere else in the map, it will TP to this spawn right here. Um, and yeah, and Sky Pia does get a um jump passive and a glide passive. A glide passive will um. You know, you can glide in the air, you jump off the surface and hold control to glide. The jump passive, you get like a higher jump boost. Basically, for jump now, I would get um, a higher boost, you know, a jump boost. You, your self defense work. Alright, next we're gonna go with what we're gonna do is talk about how to make a crew and the rights to make a crew. So, basically, to make a crew, you would um, you press your hot bar and you press crew. And then you type in your crew name and what you want it to be. If the if the crew name doesn't go through, I forgot what um, GY pops up, but it tells you something. That means either the crew name is taken or is tagged on Roblox. You know? So then you have to try, you know, new names, whatever, not tagged or not taken. Um, so to invite people, the captain of the crew will get a logbook 
in their um inventory it will be called logbook and you hold it out and then press on the person near you who you want to invite to your crew then she will pop up on their screen saying that you were invited to crew and they can decline or accept and um, to disband the crew you would the leader would press M on like it would press M on the keyboard and it would have a GUI pop up that you can scroll and click through and you know press disband uh, and also to leave a crew you need to go to showcase um, island to leave crew and you talk to NPC to leave the crew on there and also the race for a crew you have to be level 5 um I forgot if it's 10k belly or 10k bounty I forgot but I don't know but I know you have to be level 5 to make a crew now we're going to talk about weapon variants basically in this game there's different weapons that do different things such as um, katana is more range and cut is more damage you can um, collect different um, weapon variants in this game and you can mix up make you can mix up weapon variants so basically if I would go to tab and go to weapons as you can see here I can use a katana and a cutlass rather than having two katanas and two cutlass you can mix it up for different things basically if I was to pull out a katana I would equip and it would go into my weapon one and then hold on a cutlass I would equip and it goes my weapon two um, basically that's all about weapon variants um, you collect weapons from chests or you can go to the marketplace in the discord and trade for weapons and that's pretty much all. They do different things, um, and yeah. All right. So next, we're going to talk about how to unlock hockey. Um, to unlock hockey, you need to be level 15 for your progression to even start. So don't think you're getting you no know, hockey progression while you're level one or anything. Basically, get level 15 first, then you can start your hockey progression. To unlock hockey, all you need to do is um, kill bosses and just fight people for hockey XP. Uh, yeah, both of those give good hockey XP. Um, hockey is pretty easy to unlock, but the thing about hockey, um, it's easy to unlock but hard to progress. So basically, we have tiers down here. Um, for Willy D, you can get um tier seven. That's your max for regular people. Um, I'm pretty sure the max is 5.5 Uso, I believe, and six Kim. I I forgot, but I know the max is um six or lower than six. It's not over 6.5. I actually I don't know I don't know but I just know um to level up your hockey tiers um you fight bosses or you fight with your hockey on or you get um rampage grips or regular grips I'll go to rampage um, later on in this video but you know um, every time you um level up your hockey your hockey exp resets and then the, um, the requirement gets higher every time you really call it um get a different every time you're going for a higher tier so basically if that was um if I was tier one, right, and my ex my requirement gets to tier 1.5, it would be 5k, and I got a 5k. That means I'll go to um tier 1.5, and then my exp my hockey will reset right back that right back down to zero. And then if I was grinding to tier two, my hockey requirement would would be like what 10k, and then I would grind back to 10k. Basically, it's just what really you call it. It just resets every time you get a hockey tier up. And that's basically all with hockey. And to, um, to unlock hail hockey in this game, you need to have D in your name. Um, that's, um, that's, you can get D from rolling, from rolling, um, you can get D from race rolling, which wipes you. You can't get, um, with a D from name rolling, so don't try, um, to name roll. Just wasting your time, man. Just race your roll to try to roll for the D period. D is rare, so, you know, you know, try your luck, try your energy, whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, to basically get hill hockey, you should have your name, you want to get random hockey tier. Um, um, yeah, you rock, you lock hill hockey to random um, hockey tier, or you can get top three in the game, which is leaderboard. Top three gets hill hockey, um, as you can see. And yeah, that's hill hockey, hockey. You either get top three, you get top three from having, you know, the top three boundaries in the game, it counts investments, and Respect. I'll get investments later, like I said earlier. And yeah, and that's pretty much all. Alright, since we're talking about hockey, I might as well tell you guys how to get advanced hockey. Um you won't you won't get advanced hockey early on the game, so you might as well just worry about this later in your late game progression. But I'm just gonna tell you guys now so you guys know what to do and how to get it. So basically to get um there's there's different paths you can go, there's three paths. You have advanced kin, we have advanced buso, and we have uh full body hockey 
full body boost. So basically, advanced kin gives you dodges um, like the anime. It gives you um, eye frames for a second, and it gives you like it procs dodges while you have advanced kin on, and it blinds the enemy for like a quick second. Um, basically, that's what advanced kin does. And to get advanced kin, I'm pretty sure you need 5.5. I think I think it's 5.5 for Ken, and yeah, it's either 5.5 or 6. I don't know what's the max Ken and max Booster, so I don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's 5.5. And for um full body Booster, oh wait, I forgot to talk about investments. You do need um some of your investments to get um you do need a certain amount of investments to go up a certain a certain path. So so say if I was going to advance um Buso, I would need a lot of damage invested into um I would need a lot of bounty damage invested to go advanced boost so just a wreck for it and yeah that's basically all every every path needs certain investments for for you to gain it so next we have full body full body all you need is pretty sure 5.5 boost so for you to be able to um unlock it um and some investments I've got the investments for full body but yeah um full body it um pretty sure i think it busts your damage a little bit but main thing about full body is your resilience you get a lot of resilience from full body moving on to um buso advanced buso you get a lot of um you get long range you get longer range and you get more damage you get a lot of damage added on the advanced buso um advanced um hockeys in this game are pretty op like that's your end goal in this game to get an advanced hockey or and yeah Basically. Um, I'm pretty sure that wraps up advanced hockeys, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Alright, next we're going to go over a pretty important mechanic in this game, and that is bounty investments. Bounty investments in this game um, is, is really important because bounty investments give you advantages in this game. And you need bounty investments to get your um, advanced hockey, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so basically, let me give you guys an example. If I was to have, what? 5 million bounty right if I have 5 million bounty up here and I invested 2 mil into bounty damage it would take 2 mil from here and put me down 3 mil and put 2 mil into my investments if I was to fall from 30% from this 2 mil if I was like um I don't know what I don't know what 30% is of 2 mil I'm just I don't know I'm just like 600k I don't know um if I was to fall 600k I would lose my bounty buffs so basically I would my bounty um my investments would be cut in half so basically if I if I gain two two m1 damage off of two mil um bounty damage I would um it would be cut in half and I will only have one um extra bounty one extra damage added to my um you know to my um m1s but to gain this, to gain your fully, to fully gain your investments back, you need to have grips to fall back in your 30% of your, um, you don't need, you don't need directly grips, but you just need 30% of your bounty back to fall into your, um, investments. And it is easier to fall back into your investments because you get a 40% boost, um, off of a grip if you're out of your investments. I forgot to mention, once you're, um, once one of these hits 65 million bounty, it is your dominant investment. So say if I had um if I had 60 mil, 65 mil bounty damage and also like 45 mil bounty HP, it would debuff my bounty HP since my bounty damage is my most more dominant investment. And it's pretty much all I have to explain, but it is important to stay simple in your bounty investments and don't fall out of that 30%. Or you lose half of those investments. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to explain. Investments really are is uh, an important mechanic in this game, so I would you know suggest actually like not have your up here and actually start investing into your investments. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all. All right, next I'm gonna talk about subclasses, which is um. Subclasses, they're important, and they're not, uh, not really important, but like, not many people use them, but they can be used.
most of these should be self-explanatory i don't want to go too much into depth to these um but yeah basically medic you know you can get um stuff to heal people you can get um style but it's basically sub style it's like it's basically like a style it's the same concept as styles and everything and uh yeah pretty much um but yeah like i said it should be self explanatory what they do if you watch one piece um you should know but yeah that's pretty much all about subclasses i don't want to go too in depth for that Next, we're going to talk about another important mechanic in the game, which is upgrades. Um, so basically, to upgrade, what you would do is go talk to your, talk to your trainer, um, or whatever style you have, and then you would um, press the move that you have already learned, and then it was it would give you um, the option to upgrade. So basically, what you need to upgrade is two SP um, from your stars down here. Two SP equals um, one upgrade, and this you can upgrade your move to um, five, which is the max upgrade you can go to. So every um so basically if you map every um level five skill is ten SP. So be careful what you um, what your SP and don't put in your SP too um too early game. Don't put all your SP in without like upgrading some moves because it do help your build a lot. It outputs more damage um into the it outputs more damage out of your moves and everything. So obviously a level five skill will be doing more damage than level one skill. So don't actually get this on. Don't um put all your skill points into uh, to, into these stats. Actually, upgrade your skills so you can now put more damage and you know not complain about your um not complain about your um moves doing no damage. But if you ever do mess up, you can come up um to up here at the shop and you can SP reset and you can just redo your um what do you call it stats. But um SP resetting, you do have to train all your stats back. Then. I'm just warning you right now. And that's going to cost a lot more money. That's certainly what you call it. Even when SP train back in. Um, that pretty much um, that wraps up upgrades. Um, I'm going to re re-say what I said. Basically, go to your trainer and click on a move you want to upgrade. It will say upgrade. And then you need two SP to upgrade. Two SP to upgrade. Each upgrade. And then, yeah. You click on it, say upgrade. And it will show you what upgrade you're on. So, if you're on level 1 and you, say, you click upgrade again, it will put you on level 2. And it will tell you what you upgrade you're on. And that pretty much wraps up upgrades. Bosses are a key thing that play in the game too. Um, bosses um, can give high XP and like I said earlier in the video, bosses level you up pretty fast. Level you up pretty fast. And yeah, basically I'm gonna tell y'all um, the bosses in game. Basically we have um, people call it Duke Boss. Um, they spawns here at Skypea. It spawns at Golden City. You will come over. Um, you come over here, you talk to this two, talk to this dude, and it'll TP you to um, Golden City. Um, next we have Eduardo. Eduardo spawns at Patchy Dream. I'm pretty sure you need three people for him to spawn. I'm pretty sure that's what you need. Um, what else? Um, and next we have Giant Boss. Giant Boss has um, a couple different locations. I know it spawns at um, Snow Barra, and the other two are in, like, what do you call it? The other one's at Disordered Island, and the other one, I forgot. Um, what the island's called, but it's right near Barbasta. That's um like the third giant spawn. And like I said, those give you hockey XP. It's pretty important to farm those for hockey if you want. Or you can just get your hockey from the grid. Um, but yeah, those that's all for bosses, pretty much. Next, we're gonna talk about wars. Basically, wars is a good um Indian mechanic. Um, to initiate a war. You have to have three mil bounty on you and three people and your crew in the server. They have to be in the server for you to um, initiate a war. Um, how do you how you initiate a war is you type in slash e or slash e space or space the person username. It is cap sensitive, so make sure you spell the name correctly. Um, and they have to have the exact same requirements that you need to war, which I just said is three mil on them, not in investments. It has to be on them. They need that um, three mil three mil bounty or respect up there for you to warn them, and they need three people in the crew that's in the server, or that's in the yeah, yeah that's in the server. My, my fault. And yeah, and once you initiate a war, it would say you have 15 seconds um, in 
to the UTP to the place where you were at, and once the 50 seconds up, you get TP. If it says the person doesn't have enough collective bounty or respect, that means they don't have three people that's in the crew that's in game, or they don't have enough bounty for you to um war them. So once the 50 seconds is up, you get TP to a place, and you have a GUI, you have your team and the opposing team, and then the um, timer in the middle. Basically, it's a race to get the most grips in the um. It's a race to get the most grips uh, before the time runs out. Whichever team has the most um, grips before the time runs out, you get um, you win the war. And what you get from the war is 20% of everyone's bounty put together, and you get the um, bounty. You get it each, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty good. It's pretty. Good. Um, uh, I was gonna say, but that's pretty much all wars. Oh yeah, also if you lose a war, um. If you lose a war, oh my, hold up. If you lose a war, um, you lose thirty percent of your bounty too. So yeah, um, be careful. Don't lose wars. And that's pretty much all about wars. Oh yeah. Also, if you if you win a war, you gain karma and crew points. Crew points are used to upgrade your. Um, crew points are used to upgrade your um crew. Basically, um, if say you can upgrade your crew stamina, if I have 20 in crew stamina, each person in my crew gets 20 added to their base stamina already. So if I had 20, um, so say if I had 20, um, if I had a crew point and upgrade to 20 stam, I'll have 160, 161 stam now. The anyway, everyone in my crew will get added 20 stam. Basically, crew points are really important. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Yes, we do. Not for but wars are a good mechanic and it's a late game mechanic, so don't you don't use wars until you get late because you do suffer uh, a, a lot when you lose. And that's pretty much it about wars. Alright, now that we're wrapping up this um, guide, you're probably, you're probably all wondering like, how do I get a double fruit? Um, basically, the double fruits are it's an event hosted in the Discord and they're spawned in like they're not spawned in but like they're the event is started it's an automated system the event is started by a cm or a owner and basically they started their fruit event and um the way to get their fruits is while the event is active you search chests by using chest keys or just turn it into appraiser and it's basically just the rng to what or whoever gets the fruit first um and it goes into your it tells you it says plus one double fruit and it goes into your inventory and I'll probably I'm gonna put a clip um of uh, a marine named Rai finding um the gumbu gumbu I mean and yeah I'm gonna show you it shows you how it all the double fruits work and basically yeah when you find double fruit you know you eat it and you have a double fruit now as you know double fruit users can't swim their oxygen bar like depletes in like three seconds um, so basically yeah I wouldn't go near water for double fruit user. And that pretty much wraps up this guide. Um, yeah. Um, appreciate it if y'all just drop a like and sub after this. And while this video is taking a while. And yeah, I appreciate y'all appreciate for watching the video. I got this here. Come on, join it. I'm gonna buy it now. Man, no, come on, are we gonna farm? I'm joining, I'm joining. I'm joining Gamer. Yo, join Gamer Dookie. Oh, gamer Dookie. Copy. Yo, he copied my build. No way. <laughs> gamer Dookie. I'm lying. No, Ryan, no, stream, 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 stream. You're not, you're not this serious. Man. Obviously, the stream, dog's right. Lucky, dude. <laughs> yo, yo. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, oh, why are people?